Speaking of friends, the Bank for International Settlement released an interesting report on DeFi this week. Now, to give them credit, the bulk of the report is worth a read. Very thoughtful dissection of DeFi, well-researched, a lot of interesting data. Sadly, the report was sandwiched with the usual FUD. Their primary argument against DeFi is that some DeFi protocols are centralized, and this renders them vulnerable to attack. And on this point, you know who actually agrees? Everybody in DeFi. If a protocol is just LARPing is decentralized, get your money out now, not financial advice. This paper also claims that no protocol can be perfectly decentralized. And isn't that pretty much irrelevant? Do you have to be perfectly decentralized or just sufficiently decentralized to prevent these governance attacks? There's pretty much just a minimum threshold of decentralization that renders you resilient. I'd argue that you hit this if you hit two criteria, no majority owner and the capability of maintaining operations if the plurality stakeholders start getting neutralized. If you get that, you're probably decentralized enough to protect against a governance attack. Oh well, they get their FUD headlines. Perhaps the solution is to seek out the greater centralization of banks, or maybe you do your own research. Stay safe, friends.